that post is very much true. I had this couple back in 2014 when I first started being a CNA. They were both like 102, 102, 103 years old. And they were from the South. Um, and they participated, happily participated in the Tulsa Massacre. And when she started to pass away, she said she saw shaking black children in her room. And we had to switch her room twice. And she just kept seeing them. And then when he started to pass away, he just kept seeing this big, this big black gentleman and his wife just standing there staring at him. And nobody else could see him but those two. And it goes to show you that most of these people in the South that grew up in that Jim Crow era actively participated in lynchings and all that mob racist activity and everything, they are going to have some demons of their own that they have to deal with. When they cross over to the spiritual world, they are going to be met with every single person that they've killed. And they are going to be judged on every single person that they killed. And that's something that they probably ain't ready for. That's why they can try to confess their sins on their deathbed. Because they think it's going to rid them of their wrongdoings and it's not. Like you killed innocent people for the color of their skin. That you, You're not getting rid of that. So when you meet your maker, you're going to get judged on that. It's going to be a whole different type of judgment. I've, yeah, I've, I've seen that quite a bit. I had one who was an active bank robber. Yeah. He never told me where the money was. Kind of irritated me. <laughs> Not really. Still. So.